Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, wanted to talk a little bit about the future of Windows um, as it is. So uh, we talked about Windows and we talked about how uh, the future of Windows a few times. We talked about some of the features coming in the next version. But now there's kind of a change coming up. And what I mean by that is, first of all, the build that we've received. So for those that are insiders, sets. I was talking about sets. We were pretty sure sets was making it to Redstone 5. And it's interesting because what we notice is that sets is actually not making it to Redstone 5 after all. Sets is uh, and has been removed from the latest build, 17704, which means that now we are in a, um, in a gray area where what exactly will there be in this build? Another thing that you know we were uh, waiting for and now that we kind of have no news about, that my phone experience, you know you can link your phone. There's a, a feature that's right now linking your phone to make sure that your phone you know, can um, interact with your PC and everything and, uh, and it works. You, know, you can receive text messages, stuff like that. Um, but they were talking about a, your phone experience which was much more advanced much more interesting that also we don't hear anything about and one of the things that happened is um, in the blog post and let's bring it up let's bring it up um, for those that have seen here there's a edge beta right now so build 17704 and we go here and we start looking at what they were saying one of the things that a lot of people have stopped upon is down here. We're just gonna go down here somewhere. Uh, here we go, our commitment. So here it says, uh, an interesting text. You see here, uh, Windows Insiders get an exclusive look and new features, releasing and so on. But what they are, what's interesting in here is that they're also talking and, and um, Donna Sarkar has posted uh, quite a few little posts saying, uh, look, you know what? We are going to take a look at how Windows is in the next build. We're gonna focus on making it better visually and, uh, and have it more consistent. One of the biggest things that we talk about very often is how it's in, you know, inconsistent from one menu to the next, from one thing to the other, and I think what they are doing right now is, first of all, changing. Uh, you know, let's not put too many new features next time, but let's make it better, better looking, uh, easier to use. Also, one of the things that I think we are, hap what's happening right now, uh, so I, you know, posted the video where 78% of Windows 10 users are now on the new version, April 2018 update, but there's a lot and a lot of people complaining about issues, much more than there were in the past two updates, which were Creators Update and Fall Creators Update. I think, you know, Microsoft knows this. It's impossible that Microsoft, with all the telemetry that they have, plus all the people complaining, it's impossible that Microsoft doesn't see this. It's totally impossible that Microsoft um, doesn't know about it. And I think that's another reason why there's kind of a change in what's coming. So no sets in Redstone 5, I think is one of the reasons. Let's focus on making this thing stable and with the least amount of problems. Um, you know, Microsoft is not gonna admit that there's more problems in this build. It would admit that the Windows 10 has a service and Windows 10 updates every six months is a huge problem, which is not the case um, for them. But for us, it's another story. For people that have problems, uh, you know, go ask them. And uh, I'm going to tell you, they're mad as hell. And, you know, rightfully so, especially if there's a lot more issues in here. So, um, and like I was saying, 78% rollout is really fast. Um, fast to a point where, you know, there's even a little side where you kind of think that it maybe is fast to a point where it's almost 
um, I'd say almost careless from their part, considering the issues that we actually are hearing about. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of interesting here. So um, there are some changes coming, but I think that they have kind of understood that the changes that need to be done here need to be done in a way that it's going to make Windows 10 better. So, um, you know what, I don't expect to have that many new features in the next update. Uh, less maybe than we've had in the past few uh, builds. And consider that we're getting early July. Pretty much everything that I hear right now are saying end of September would be the uh, release, the, 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 the you know, release candidate. And uh, that would mean that if we think about it, you got July, August, and September. Three months, let's, let's give it three months to bring out something. It means you don't have that much time to add any new stuff also. You know, you got to stabilize that thing. And in and, and August, you got to have to start making sure things are, are working well, you know. And one, of course, of the things that's happening right now for those that are insiders there's the, the bug bash that's happening in the feedback hub. So less features probably coming and um, maybe more stability and more, in, you know, kind of overall improvements. I think there's a refocus right now of Microsoft's uh, way of viewing Windows 10. And I think it's for the good. It's really for the good of everyone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.